is the Jolly Roger. And that's what they do here at PNC Park tonight. Winning the National League Wild Card Game. See this Jolly Roger? This Jolly Roger is a special Jolly Roger. It's the first one ever brought into PNC Park. And Bucko fanatic Gary Love was the one to do it. I want to see if we can take this in the game. Heck yeah. I said to my wife, we were in a museum in Salem. I said, hey, I'm going to get one of these flags and see if I can take it in the ball game. 2001 opening day at PNC Park when it was fresh new ballpark, first game. And I had this on a broomstick right at this gate. Security said, no, no, you can't bring this in here. And they said, what do you mean? You want to win in this new ballpark? And they said, well, let us get special clearance. Let us get our boss. And the head of security came over, and he said, where are you sitting? And I said, the left field bleachers near the foul pole. And he said, OK, you can take it in. Don't wave it during action. Don't hit anybody with the stick. And then anything good happened in the game. I stood up and waved it. People cheered. And the rest is history. We came to games after that. A few more people started bringing a flag, one here, one there. And then in 2013, there were, must have been 500 of them at the wild card games. In a standing room only crowd, only standing right now. Gary's flag waving innovation may be thanks to the fact that he comes from a true Pirates fan dynasty. Very much my family's culture pirate baseball. My grandma, like I said, was their biggest fan. My dad and I could come into Three River Stadium and find her by listening. She would hoot and holler so loud. I always miss school on the first day. She'd never mm -hmm. gone to school in a home opener. It's not going to happen. It's a family holiday. Gary's daughter, Mariana, is a pretty big fan. Not quite as big as Gary. It's crazy. I think he's crazy. Yet, 